Hi everyone, it's Celeste in Venice for my fifth month update on my gray hair transition. Um, I'm wearing it up today, as you can tell. I don't know, I don't really think that it's grown out that much since four to five months. I felt like it was a huge shift from like looking at myself in the mirror from two to four months. That was a big deal. So I'm thinking probably at the six month, it'll be like here and it'll feel noticeable again to me. But I am really enjoying the color. I'm really enjoying like how rock and roll it looks. And I'm just enjoying feeling comfortable in my skin to the point where I don't even notice that, you know, I have roots. I don't really care anymore. And that feels really good because in the beginning, there was so much insecurity getting used to that idea of like, oh God, like everybody can see them. And as much as I wanted to make the transition, it was hard to break free of the stereotypes that people place on you if you, you know, like let yourself go, if you don't dye your hair. So there's that. I also wanted to report that I went to the hairdresser. A few of you, if you've watched my earlier videos, I spent a long time in a video lamenting over the brassiness of my hair. You know, it's not the gray that's really growing in. It's that when you stop dyeing your hair cold turkey, you're you're not dyeing your hair anymore. And so there's this like terrible orangutan orange color that started to come through. And so I went to the hairdresser and I asked her if there was anything that she could do for me to tone it down without affecting the gray. And she used Redken EQ shades on my hair. And it was amazing. I mean, it's it's washed out a little bit, but it totally toned down the red. Did not affect my grays at all permanently. It did darken or mute the grays a little bit, but it looked great. And I felt really, really confident um, that it wouldn't hurt my hair, and it didn't. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, the last thing I have to report is, so... I'm recently single and I'm starting to date and when I was talking to my girlfriend about going back into the dating world, the first thing she said was, so are you going to dye your hair now? Are you going to do your roots? And I totally understand and I wasn't offended um, and she is, this was not from like a rude, this was, she did not mean to be rude. She loves me. She's an amazing person, but she was concerned, you know, this idea that people wouldn't find me attractive maybe or that I needed to put out a certain persona to like snag a man or whatever that is. And so my answer, of course, was an immediate no. And to be honest, I didn't even think about it. It didn't even cross my mind. So it felt good knowing that internally my instinct was to stay true to what I want. And I think that's really important for women on this journey is to remember why you're doing it and what you really want because everyone gets thrown these you know this subcontext from people all the time that says like are you sure I don't know maybe you won't look good maybe you're gonna look older whatever it is just be comfortable with who you are and what you want to do ultimately ultimately my answer was no I'm not going to dye my roots because it's important when you're going through life and especially when you're going to put yourself out there to date that you are authentic there is no point in dating anybody to make them like you if you're not being you and so no I'm not dying my roots I will date like this and it'll all be great because ultimately we're more than our hair and the most important thing in life is walking through it sure-footed in who you are so you can attract like-minded people and so I just thought I'd share that I don't know if that's happened to anyone else I know Elisa in Montreal has done a little video all of her videos are amazing of um, how it didn't make a difference at all when she started dating and I'd like to know what you guys think how do you guys feel about that Anyway, that's it. That's my fifth month update. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. If you don't, that's cool too. Comment below because I love to hear what's going on with you guys and have a good month. Bye.